Hi guys, I'm going to broadcast um, the four free response number one questions that will be on this Thursday's quiz. The first one that I will be doing is free response problem from the 2000 test. And why don't we just do these in red? What the hell? All right, so this is 2000. And question A asks us to write the equilibrium expression. The equilibrium expression for this reaction is going to be Kc equals S2, concentration S2 to the first power, um, concentration H2 to the second power, divided by the concentration of H2S raised to the second power. That's the answer to A. Notice, because it's Kc, I'm representing these values as concentrations, which are going to end up being moles per liter. We're going to go on to question B. It asks us to calculate the equilibrium concentration in moles per liter of the following gases at 483K. So what I'm going to do is now begin to establish my ice chart. So I'm going to rewrite the reaction as 2H2S, that's a gas, Equilibrium goes to 2H2 gas plus S2 gas. And before I even read anything, I'm going to set up my equilibrium, my ice chart. Now remember, ice stands for initial change and equilibrium. So I'm going to start trying to fill this in as I can. I look at it. And they tell me that um, a 3.4 gram sample of H2S is introduced into an evacuated chamber. And they want me to know what H2S is at equilibrium. Well, what I'm going to have to do first is I'm going to have to convert those val that value to moles. So I have 3.40 grams of H2S. And the first thing I'm going to do is convert that to moles. And actually that is going to be, excuse, excuse me, that's 34. So that equals 0 0.10 moles. And I have to have that in moles per liter. So they give me, in the initial problem, 1.25 liters. So I know the concentration is around 0.08. That's going to be my initial concentration of H2S. I know this is going to be zero. I know this is going to be zero. Um, it's going to shift to the right because of that. This is going to be minus 2x. This is going to be plus 2x. And this is going to be plus x. Therefore, at equilibrium, 0 0.08 minus 2x, 2x, x. All right. Now, there's got to be some information that's going to allow me to find x. So this problem is asking me for H2S, which is equal to that at equilibrium, and H2, which is equal to that at equilibrium. So there must be some information that gives me x. Well, if you go back and you read the problem, it does say that there is 3.72 times 10 to the negative second moles of S. 2 at equilibrium. Well, we want moles per liter, so we have to divide that by 1.25 liters, and that gives me the concentration at equilibrium, um, which is concentration of S2 at equilibrium, um, which is going to end up being it looks like what they're, what they're doing here is they're taking that and they're multiplying this by 2. And that's the number that's going to go in there since that's what they're asking us for. So that multiplied by 2 is going to be 5.95 times 10 to the negative um, second. And that's going to be the answer for H2 at equilibrium. And then they're going to subtract that from 0.08. And... Um, that's going to be equal to 0 0.02. So they're getting 0 0.0205 for H2S. So this is going to be 0 0.0205.
And this is going to be 5.95 times 10 to the negative second. Okay, moving on to C. Okay, C says calculate KC. So we're just going to plug into the KC expression. All right, so that's going to be equal to the value for H2, which is going to be 5.95 times 10 to the negative second. And we're going to raise that to the second power. That's going to be equal to the value for S2, which is 3.2 times 10 to the negative second, divided by 1.25. Raise that to the first power. And we're going to divide the entire thing by 2.05 times 10 to the negative second squared. And we're going to end up with 0 0.250 for KC. <coughs> Moving on to D. D is going to ask us to calculate the partial pressure of S2 in the container at equilibrium. OK? Well, whenever you see this word pressure, we have to go to the equation sheet and get our equation for pressure. Um, which would say that since PV equals NRT, P equals NRT over V, um, N is the moles, and we know that S2, the moles, was 3.72 times 10 to the negative 2. We know that R is the ideal gas constant, and since we're dealing with pressure, in ATMs, we're going to deal with the 0.0821, and the temperature in Kelvin was given to us. If that was in Celsius, we'd have to multiply that by 273, and we're going to divide that by the volume of the container, which was 1.25 liters, and the answer is going to be 1.18 atmospheres. That's the unit for pressure. Okay, I did not want you guys to move on and do E for this one. Um, and that's the answer. Um, I'd like to go back really quick and review what we did since we have some time on this podcast. Initially, we went through and we wrote up the KC expression. Notice that everything counted because it was a gas. We went through then and set up our ice chart. Values that go into the ice chart have to be in concentrations of moles per liter, units of moles per liter. So that's why we got the moles by doing that conversion. Um, the liters by plugging in that 1.25 and then we just put everything into the equation. We ended up getting x, multiplied it by 2 for 2x, subtracted that from 0.08 to get the H2S. After we got the equilibrium expressions, we plugged it into Kc, got 0.250 as our answer. From there, they asked for pressure, we plugged it into the Pogner equation, and we got our answer. Beware of converting Celsius to Kelvin. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next podcast for 2003 Form B. Take care.